the card. Almost set to go now. The Garnet Group trot, 2200 third of the treble. They walk up. Line looks great. They're off. And away they go, and Avalon Sunset began well. Charles de Casanov broke early on the outside. Eskimo Banker well away as his runner rolls last in the favourite. Parsi's on the journey. Avalon Sunset broke after a reasonably good beginning. They're followed down on the inside. Three lengths away. Steffi Glass, Charles de Casanova about ten lengths further afield. And Scusi Boy failed to go with them. So they're strung out early. Calamity Girl made a great beginning. In fact, it's gone up to take the lead for Barry Purden and led by two lengths over Eskimo Banker over on the outside without cover now as runner rolls last. About eight lengths away is going to be Princess Jill. About four back then to Avalon Sunset. Parsi's on the inside for Nicole Melanda. About eight lengths back then to uh, Steffi Glass. Further back, Charles de Casanov and a mile out of it, Excuse you, boys. Down the back they trot in the Garnet Group. Now third leg of the TAB treble. And the leader is Calamity Gal. Calamity Gal now from Eskimo Banker. Runner rolls last holding third. They're followed by Princess Jill who whipped off the markers. Followed by Avalon Sunset going with it to get the 1-1. One -one. They're followed by the favourite Parsi and last of this main group is Steffi Glass mile back to Charles de Casanov and out of the contest is Scusi Boys they're across the top they're at the 1300 metre point though and Barry Purden and Calamity Girl clearly by two lengths Eskimo Bank is getting a lovely drag in the trail Princess Jill is facing the breeze on the outer Avalon Sunset to the 1-1-3 back on the inside is Runner Rails Lass then three back to the running line is the race favourite Parsi is followed then by Steffi Glass and eight to ten lengths away to Charles de Casanov down the straight 30 34.6 was the lead in time first quarter last mile and it's Calamity Gal at the judge now with just on a thousand metres to go Princess Jill's looming up on the outside down on the inside is Eskimo Banker 1-1 one, one to Avalon Sunset 3 back runner rolls last they're followed by Parsi the race favourite they're followed in behind them a length and a half away Steffi Glass and 5 to 7 lengths away is Charles de Casanoff excuse you boys out of the contest I think it was pulled up on the journey by Dave McGowan into the back they go towards the 700 metres 34-6 the first quarter of the mile 66-7 the half down the back they go and Calamity Gal led by a length on the outside is Princess Jill down on the inside Eskimo Banker travelling well as Avalon Sunset three back runner rolls last on the outside is Parsi the favourite been patiently driven one and a half away then is Steffi Glass and eight links away to Charles de Casanov they're about to peel off the back at the 400 metre point it's Calamity Gal going through in 136-7 on the inside down on on the uh, outside is going to be Princess Jill. Here's Parsi now given rain by Nicole Melander. It's zooming up on the outside to threaten. They're followed by Eskimo Banker. Into the straight though is still Calamity Girl. Parsi's two and a half lengths away and looking to close. Princess Jill Steffi glasses into the clear but Calamity Girls are, are going pretty well at the 100 metre mark now from Parsi on the outside. Calamity Girl kept going by Barry Purden. Calamity Girl. Parsi dives. Calamity Girl beat Parsi third three lengths away. Steffi Glass. They were followed back on the inside. Runner rolls last from Eskimo Banker, Princess Jewel. Then came Avalon Sunset, Charles, uh, Charles de Casanov and pulled up on the journey with Skewsy Boys.